Hey, coach, thanks for giving us the time. How's it going? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for the interview. Yeah, we're happy to be here. Uh, can you tell us first where we are and uh, who you are? For sure. So we're, we right now are in STA uh, gym, St. Thomas Aquinas. This is like our home base where we run all of our basketball camps, academies, training. Uh, we, we're just about mentoring and growing the game. All right. So you have a couple of kids here today. Yeah, so um, we got a pretty talented group in here. They're, they're raw, they're young, but there's a lot of kids that you can see. They're just budding. They're just coming around to understand that their full potential. And our job as coaches is really to help them reach that, that full potential, to teach them the power they have. Would you say you're a private coach? Um, I would say I'm public. I'm open to everybody. I'm here to try to change the game. I'm really not even about my organization. My organization, my club, my program is WCT Hoops, but I'm really about the game. I'm, I'm a... I'm a servant of the game of basketball. Uh, this is something that I've been privileged and honored to have around me and be a part of for so long in my life. And now my, you know, my obligation as someone who has been uh, around this game as an OG, as a veteran, to pass on some of that experience to the young generation. You want to hit that horn? Hit that horn. Yeah. Let's bring it in. Come on. Bring it in tight. <laughs> What's going on? Everyone's good? Yes, yes, sir. Don't mind the camera. It's just uh, not there even. Don't, even. don't even act like it here. Actually, really what this is is someone that, uh, you know, he's, he's about just the culture and growing, and he's seen that we're in here building, and he wanted to come just see what it's like in a day in the life of the WCT Hoops, right? So um, once we get started, let's play hard. Let's, let's, you know, the big thing that we've been on for the last little bit with a lot of you boys is tempo. Okay, so let's continue to bring the tempo. And then the other thing we've been working on, Perrin, what is that? Uh, communication. No, you gotta say it with a voice that matters. Communication. We gotta learn how to communicate, right? If you don't know how to talk on this court, and I'm not saying I'm not picking on Perrin, because a lot of us have the same thing. If we can't make our voice count, then we're gonna struggle out here, okay? So today, whatever we're doing, it's less and less me and Coach Key, more your, you guys' voice. So after we start talking here, it should be that now you guys, someone picks up that, that, that chorus. Someone keeps on that, you know, that energy that needs to be in the gym to get good, good at anything. Okay, so that's it. I said too much already. Let's get to work. Okay, let's, go. let's bring let's it here. Dream on three, big on six. One, two, three, three, three four, five, six, big. Okay, here we go. You got to the board, let's go. This side right here is on that side of the court. And from Flynn all the way to Ajax is on that side. Okay, we're doing Prescott fast break. People who know what they're doing, get to the front. Get to the front, move the balls. Move the balls, move the balls. Move the balls, look at your court. See where you're at. You're going this way, Prescott fast break. So what do I do, coach? So here's one of our tempo drills when we first start. Really, uh, more so than then what they do initially is we want them to all come in here and understand that work only happens if you're moving at a certain pace, a certain speed. So we're just trying to get the speed and the pace going, trying to get some simple passes moving. Okay, you guys are keeping your own score. Hey, you gotta come right here, here they come, here they come. Make sharp passes. Come on, finish, finish, finish. Rebound, rebound, rebound. Go, 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 Trey. Go, Trey. You got to go. You got to get on your horse. Let's go. Go, Keone. Don't worry about the ball. Get going. Good. Around the cone, Q. Around the cone. Outlet, outlet. Here we go. Let's go. Go, go, Alex. Go. Keone, when you go, your first three steps. Go, first three steps. Go. Go. Attack your layup, Gabe. Come 
Come on, come on, come on. Here we go, here we go. So it's a mission with this drill. So with this drill, you're really trying to work on the passes being sharp, right? Learning how to make sharp passes, to do multiple things, to not just pass and stop. One second before we go to the next one, boys and girls. Let's make sure that we are attacking the rim. When you get to a layup, it's not to slow down. You get to that layup, you, these steps got to be attacking. You got to attack the rim on your layup. We're not slowing down. Once you make your layup, your first three steps to go in the other direction is not waiting and looking for a ball. It's sprinting and getting up and down the court. We got that? Okay, here we go. Let's show it. Go. So again, all of those things that I just kind of mentioned is what we're trying to get. Get these boys in a habit of moving. Go, go, go. Eyes up, eyes up. Alex, be in control of what you're doing. Attack it, Terrica. Make it right, make it right. Make it right. Good, good group, good group. Right into 11 man, but just... Uh, the same two teams or one full team? One full team, but we're just going for three minutes, just getting loose. Attack it! Yeah, so this is Jan Ski, uh, me and Jan Ski. We started uh, WCT Hoops in about 2020. So when COVID first started, was sort of where we, the inception of WCT Hoops started. And we first started with, a, our name was different. It was actually was Bubble 24. And uh, really the concept behind it, what we were doing was, um, you know, over COVID it made it very evident that if you are going to be doing something, there better be a high level of value that connected to it. So what we were trying to do was make a place where players could come to the gym, uh, get in the work that they needed, uh, not lose any steps in their development over a time when a lot of people were in a standstill or like in a holding pattern. We wanted to make it that this was a place that we were still giving a lot of value to the kids and the community that we were working with. So that sort of started the inception of it. And then from there, we kind of just continued to grow. Uh, you know, also with me and Skeet, something that we have is that two young black men, you know, are trying to buck the stereotype that we should always be competitors. We're trying to show that we actually can work together for good, that we can put our resources together and try to build something special. So this is sort of what we're trying to build in here. Yeah. Here we go, full court. Whoa, let's go, full court. Main court, main court, main court, main court. Get to your lines, get to your lines. Go, come on. Get to your lines. Hey boys, you guys gotta talk to each other. Don't be in a line and just stay, stand there and not say nothing. Talk to the people in front of you, behind you. Get to communicating now. You got three minutes to get loose. After three minutes, our goal is we wanna get what? What do we wanna get in this drill? How many makes? 90. 90, he can't be the only one that knows. We are trying to get 90. Actually, we're not trying. We're going to get 90, but we gotta do something to We've never had it, got it there. We got 80 something last time, but we got to get this in the right motion right now. So when you're doing stuff, don't think there isn't a purpose for what you're doing. We're doing this warm up for three minutes so that after these three minutes, you don't say, oops, I didn't know. Oops, my bad. Get sharp right now. Let's go. Come on. Layups. Good run, good run. Go, 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 Terrica, go, Terrica. Good, go. Kairos, Kairos, run your lane, run your lane, run wide. You gotta run wide, not so close. You gotta run wider. Okay.
So we're just doing this once and then we're going to get to 11 minutes. This is the warm up. Okay. I mean Italian. I always get. Yeah, okay. Right now it's already looking like they're moving a little bit quicker. Don't walk to the back of the line. Good. Go Q. Go Q. Here we go. There we go. Let's go. Don't walk. Don't walk. Here we go. Be ready for a catch. Come on. Let's go. Keep moving. Let's go. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Be ready for the catch, Q. Good. Keep moving. Let's go. Keep it moving. Keep your energy up. 34. Keep your energy up. Get your voice in charge. Come on, Gio. You dunked it? Okay, P. I see you, P. Chioni, let me see you dunk it. Chioni, let me see you throw it down. Hey, okay. You gotta try. That's how you learn. You gotta try. You gotta fail first, but you gotta not be afraid to try it. Let me see some Trey. Let me see some Trey. Hey, okay. Here we go. What do we got next? Okay. Hey, good energy. From each drill in this tempo beginning, we gotta get more energy each one. Don't do it for me, do it for yourselves, right? Do it because you want to be in a live gym, okay? Next one we're doing Italian shooting. So you need a ball in the second line. You gotta be a ball here, a ball here, right? So there's gonna be one shooter. I mean, one, one layup, two shooters. Okay, who are the two ready? You got it? Okay. So are we gonna go three minutes, just let it go? Two minutes, we're just gonna warm up. We're not counting, then we're going to get 90. Here we go, two minutes, get left. Hey. Good, go, 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 get up that court. Come on, let's go. Take your layups, Q. There you go, T, T, keep going. T, keep going, good. Get shot, let's go, let's go! Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go! Come on, Alex! Make your outlets clear, who's outletting? Outlet, come on, outlet, 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 outlet! Go, Nayu! Come on, Nayu! Nayu, if you get the pass, you're there. Keep going, Nayu. Keep passing and keep going. Keep going, Nayu. Keep going. You know, the energy is coming. Um, we're, trying to, we're trying to bring them a different type of grind that they're not used to here. The reality is we're, we're working in North Vancouver. A lot of these kids living here um, have a privilege, including my kid, that we have to work through, right? I want kids to be hungry. I want them to want it for them, not for me, right? So that's what we're trying to put into them. Hey, here's a secret. If the passes aren't sharp, if you're lobbing passes, you're going to be taking time off. Everything you do, you got to do it sharp right now. Talk early, make sharp passes, attack your layup, 
Don't forget when you make a layup, you're coming back the other direction. Okay, here we go. Ready and go. Go, Keone, go. Start over. You're missing too many easy ones. We're, we're not gonna make it. I'm gonna start over. You guys got one on this basket. Take the shots you can make. You don't have to shoot a three. Work the same But also, we gotta get, in terms of talking, the guy making the layup, start cheating your line. Let's put our heads. This isn't just an athletic thing. Get your mind into what you're doing. Alex, if you're making the layup, get going. Get up and down the court. We don't need to catch it here and take two dribbles. Here we go. Ready and go. Whoever is getting the layup, get going. Start again. Everybody give me five push-ups, go. Alex, that means you, five push-ups, go. This is what we need, you gotta learn how to communicate. Basketball, it's not telepathic. If you don't talk, we don't know. If you don't talk, we don't know. If you're outletting, then come back and call for an outlet. Alex, get to the back. Gabe, come to the front. Good calling, good calling. Good start, good start. There we go. Good start. Go, go. Three, two, one, go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Catch him. Catch him. Let's go. Ready and go. Thank you, let's go, let's go. Go, you guys. Finish it. Win it, okay. Catch up, Lewis. Come on, Dan, let's go. Finish. Five. Go, Gabe. We got a ball right there. Let's go, knock it down. Like what you see, coach, so far? You know, um, so as a coach, also, you got to learn to, you know, how, it's not always going to happen overnight, right? So it's like, do I, do I see progress? I, I do see progress. Is there still lots more to go? Do we still have more to grow on? 100%. So, you know, as coaches and me, from my position, I played on the Canadian national team. You know, I played overseas in Europe, I played Division I basketball, and Coach Skeet has the same credentials. So always our, our expectation and our level of success that we're looking for is going to be high, and we don't want to lower it. We don't want to lower it down to just what, what makes others happy. We want to push these kids. We want to show them that there's another level of success that they can look to reach for, and um, yeah, just keep encouraging them to try to, 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 to reach for more, to not be satisfied with somewhat of uh, you know, whatever level or whatever they think their, their output is, just explaining to them that there's another level. There's more success that they can go to. There's more places they can take their, their body and their mind.
So coach, how often do you do this every day? So we're in here, right now we're in here four times this week. Usually we try to work with their uh, basketball seasons. So all the kids are just finishing up the basketball season. So we're technically in off season. When we're in the season, we try to go maybe twice a week because we want to work with what they're doing with their, we think that high school basketball should take priority. We got to come back to that. You got to have pride for who you're playing for. And also as a coach, I got to respect the fact that that coach is spending a lot of time with the kid and I want them to be successful as well. So when season is done, which is right about now, we go to about three or four times a week. We try to play, um, uh, we're coming up, we have a couple tournaments coming up that we're going to be playing in. And we're also going to try to take the team to Edmonton this spring. So we got some big things coming this summer. We're just growing as well. We're trying to get down to the south, get to the states a little bit. So this is a team? This is a team. It's two different teams put together. Usually we're training. Okay, here we go, here we go. Go. So usually uh, we do training. I call myself a coach, trainer, mentor, engineer. A basketball, I would say uh, someone that's a lifer, but also someone that, you know, I can kind of service or fill anything that you need from me as a coach, right? So. We do do a lot of training. We do, uh, we train on many of the better players, top players in this province. But then we also, WCT Hoops, run our own program and are trying to homegrown the kids that are around us, try to mentor them and give them something special. So you say the basketball season. How about for the newcomer parents who have kids who want to sure. do basketball? What is the basketball season? Sure, so uh, the basketball high school season usually ends in about uh, the beginning of March. And now the off season, which we're in right now, runs from the end of March all the way till the beginning of October. So now this is really, as a basketball player, as a young person, this is the time where you want to make the most amount of gains in your career. This is the time where you want to make some changes and grow your game a bit. So um, it's, a, it's an important time for a young basketball player to learn to grow, uh, to add some new things to their game, potentially during the season, maybe you kind of get boxed in sometimes. So this is a time where like right now, this skill work is trying to get them to get their reps up, right? As a, as a anyone, uh, usually they say it takes 10,000 reps to master anything. So we're just trying to teach them to what, what are the proper reps to learn, and then they can start to do it on their own. And what ages do you take them from? It's a good question. So we start, um, in terms of training, we train as young as grade five, but in terms of our teams, we're gonna have a U13, uh, 14 team this spring, as well as a U15, 16, which is the majority of these kids in here. And then we're gonna have a girls program as well. And are you running camps? In yeah, we summer? are, we are. So we're running camps in the summer. We're also running a camp in the uh, spring break, which is next week. We'll have a camp going from the 14th to the 17th. Uh, one is an all boys camp, or uh, sorry, a co-ed camp, which is going to be the ages of uh, anywhere as young as grade five, all the way up to grade 12, and we'll split them in uh, skill level. And then the other one is gonna be an all girls camp that's gonna run in the mornings uh, from the 13th to the 16th. We'll, uh, we'll put them in groups depending on their skill level. And what are you targeting? Are you sending kids to the NBA? What's your mission? Uh, yeah, like I, I'm, a, I'm a dream big type of guy. I, I, you know, I'm not gonna limit myself. My experience as a young uh, man was when I was in high school, my coach said if I was lucky, I could play at Ryerson. And you know, no diss to Ryerson's program. They've had a lot of success, but for me at that time in my life, I thought that was uh, selling me low and it bugged me. And that was part of my motivation to try to do something more. So with kids, I'll never tell them that they can't dream for the NBA or dream for the you know the highest level they can. They also have to understand that I'm gonna teach them that the realistic work that it takes is a lot, right? You can't have a, you know, a million dollar dreams and have a, you know, a 10 cents, 50 cent work ethic. You gotta have a million dollar work, work ethic as well. And that's what we're trying to put into these kids. So there's a lot of value than just basketball so, going in here, yeah. apart from being physically fit and hey, playing a uh, cool sport. As a kid, sometimes at a young age, to be able to understand discipline, work, work ethic, um, understand that whatever you want to do, any success you want to have, it's not always going to be this linear line. There is going to be hills and valleys. You have to learn how to deal with adversity. You have to learn how to continue to fight. You got to be someone that is audacious in a way. Yeah, audacious in a way. And, you know, be willing to believe in what you want to do with your life more so than everyone else.
And coach, why did you choose this really nice gym other than other gyms uh, around the province? Honestly, this gym is a, it's been a blessing to us. Uh, when we first started working uh, with building the basketball community and doing things a little bit more independently, for myself at least, uh, STA was a school that reached out and saw the value in us. And uh, again, always coming back to that word, when you're putting value out into the university and the universe, other people seem to notice it. So uh, the administration here saw what we were doing and said, hey, we would love to have you be a part of this community at this school. And they used to have an old school right around the corner over here um, that had a really small gym, one of the smaller gyms in the province. And within a year of being here, we realized they were building a new school. And this is sort of, uh, you know, a bit of a fruition of our hard work, right? Um, this didn't come overnight, but it's a beautiful gym. We don't take it lightly. We're very thankful to be able to use it to try to add this value to our community. And um, yeah, that's sort of how we got here initially. Yeah, so we, uh, a lot of people are starting to realize in the city, like if you want to uh, get better, you gotta seek out where the value is, where the talent is in terms of coaching. And you know, a 30 minute, 40 minute drive this isn't the end of the world if your goals and your dreams are to try to ascend and, and get somewhere out of here, right? So everybody's welcome. Everyone's welcome. Everyone's welcome. <laughs> that's why I'm doing it. It may seem funny, but I'm trying to give you that intensity feel. So when you get to the next level, you're not shot. Pro hops. So here we go. A um, couple of things I saw and I, was, I, I wasn't able to come over and chat, but I noticed a lot of people. So if you're passing it, I'm coming out and I'm catching the ball like this. Right? This, there's no athleticism in it. There's no one looking to make a quick move. Even if you were trying to make a quick move and you realize he, he was playing bad or she was playing bad defense, this is, you can't do it here. So think about this in terms of preparation. I want to be prepared. So I, when I get here, I'm here. I'm low. I'm, I'm engaged. I'm not walking up here and doing these. And then thinking I'm working, worrying about the move there. Okay, so I'm low. I'm engaged. I'm ripping through. I'm attacking the baseline. I'm going to take two dribbles. I'm going to hop to another spot, pro hop. You can learn to hook it there. You can step through and finish, okay? Now there's two ways that we can try to get there. We can come over the top. We can rip below. It's either whatever you want to do there. But again, this, don't cheat it. Don't cheat it. Here I am. It's how we want to make our reps, okay? Landing on two feet. Landing on two. And with the layups, don't just die on the layup. I saw a lot of guys missing your layups. Try to take pride in it. There's no one here. We should make all of our layups. Okay, got it? Here we go. Back to it. Oh yeah, I don't think I got scared in it. So what's the next one? Uh, what is where you said we can kind of free, like not freestyle? We can freestyle, but, but we just keep it moving. Yeah, let's get to the Go into two on one continuous, three yep. on two continuous. So for um, two on one continuous, we need uh, two separate even teams. Two, uh, two teams. But you can do the same thing. Just split it. Okay. When you land, which wherever you land, give it a little head fake. Then you got to change your angle. Don't just go here and here. There's someone there. Okay. Try. Change your angle. Good. That's what you want. And the more you lean away. The more you draw them this way, then you step through. Get it up, Kairos, get it up. So coach, do you take all skill levels of kids? So um, when we started, we were willing to work with anybody. We didn't want to try to just cherry pick from the top. We realized we had to come in and, and just start with the community that we had. So a lot of these kids just has been with us from the beginning. However, I will say now, um, that we've started to grow and we started to cultivate and curate a certain level of intensity in the gym. I've talked to parents recently that are trying to join and we said, you know, um, with all due respect, we, you have to make sure that this is a program that is your kids right for, for us and we're right for your kid. Because this isn't trying to be uh, activity. This isn't trying to be housely. We want to challenge and push and show these kids how to do things the right way. Strive for excellence on the basketball court. Um, it's just the makeup and where we've come through, me and Coach Ski, in terms of our careers. So we want to be able to give that back at the high level, right? So 
Um, in terms of working and answering your question, we're willing to work with anyone who's willing to work hard. If not now, the thing is, not everyone's willing to work hard. If kids come in our, in our, in our midst and they're not working hard enough and they're not willing to listen, listen and they don't show a certain level of hunger, then maybe this isn't the best club for them. Maybe they need to find a place where it's a little bit more of, uh, you know, they put their value system somewhere else. For us here, we want to make sure that the kids we work with, we continue to curate a certain level of uh, environment in the gym that's competitive, for one, that is hungry, for two, and that is always working hard. How long are the sessions? So the sessions are usually two hours um, in my backpack. Yeah, we usually go about two hours. Um, we also realize if you're doing the right things, you don't have to be in the, in the gym for any longer than that. <laughs> and this is, like I said, this is an activity. We're not trying to get in there and just do a bunch of things so they look like they're moving around. We're trying to work on the skill. We're trying to give them feedback. Right? Teach them certain things about the mental game. Why are you doing what you're doing, right? So uh, in terms of two hours, usually that's about all these kids are. You know, if you work the right way, two hours, they should be tired. They should be, you know, passed out by the end of that. No, a good night rest. Yeah. No TikTok. Yeah. No, 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 no. Nope. Yeah. What, uh, what are your teams now? And we're doing... So you, you know it's coming from the sidelines, right? Yeah, but that's the when you add it. You want to go from no defender at first. One defender. One, one defender. Two on one continuous. Yes. Okay, you want to get in the setup? Just get them. Here we go. Two on one continuous. What, what do you do? Back, back over there. Right over here. So you Instagrams and websites. For sure. So we're on Instagram at WCT Hoops. Uh, that's uh, W C T H O O P S Hoops. We're also we have a website which is W C T Training. Dot ca right and then you can catch me on my email my email is rants at wcthoops.com uh, jaren's email is uh, jaren at wcthoops.com right and we are open to everyone in terms of skill development in terms of individual and private training which is what we do on the side of doing this usually at the end of most of these two-hour sessions that's all that they can deal with with in terms of the players but for us we're uh, basketball lifers. We're in the gym as much as we can, so we're usually running some type of uh, training program after that. Did he just dunk on him? He dunked on him? He dunked on him? Uh, we're a business and we're growing, but our real focus that we're on right now is giving value to the young kids coming up that are the next generation, that can use basketball as an avenue to see the world. They use basketball as an avenue to learn um, how to be responsible, learn how to have discipline and grow as a young man or young woman. That's really our goal, to assist in that because we've been there and we know what it takes. And I to go to college too. Yeah, and to go to college, exactly. To get your education paid for. These are big things that you can get if you dedicate to the game, right? And um, just teaching these kids, like I said before, to, to, to dream for those things, to not sell themselves too short, to not think that they can't do it. Uh, I got cut, a quick story, I got cut from my grade 8 team, grade 9 team, got cut every time I try, tried out for the provincial team, uh, made the national team as a walk-on tryout. That was the beginning of my story, and I've had a basketball in my hand for the past 20 years. Right? I, uh, the game has given me a ton. I met my wife through the game. Um, you know, I dedicated, I owe a lot of my life to the game of basketball, but that was only because I was willing to believe that I could do more than people were telling me. So, coach, please tell us a bit of your of uh, your basketball experience, like from uh, your high school to the club you played for, all the way to the national team to your coaching career right now. I went to school at Thornley uh, Secondary School, which is in Thornhill, Toronto. This is in the York region. Um, I ended up going from there to Western Carolina University, which is out in North Carolina. It's a Div Division One school, um, and I went there for five years. Uh, on basketball scholarship. I got a degree in, uh, in communications from there. I started my master's while I was there. Then I went on to live uh, in, in Holland and Germany. So I played in Europe for about six years. Uh, I played in the leagues in there, all while playing in college in Germany at, and, and in Europe. I also played on the national team. I played on the national team for a total of about eight years, starting on the junior national team and working my way up to the senior national team where I had the opportunity to play with many NBA players. I played with guys such as uh, 
Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade, uh, Chris Paul, Carmelo Anthony, uh, Yao Ming, uh, the list goes on. Dirk Nowitzki. Um, I played, I've had the opportunity to, to compete against many of those players and be teammates with some of them. Um, and now, like I said, um, I, I, after playing, I, my playing career ended in 2012. However, I continued to stay around the game. And in 2017, after being retired for about five years, I had an opportunity to come back and play again. So I took up that opportunity because I also wanted my kids to see me you know, when I played as a, as a young man playing pro, my kids weren't born. So I wanted them to have that opportunity. And when I went to go play, that's where I met Coach Skeet, Jaron Skeet. He was one of my teammates when I played, 10 years my, uh, my junior, but of the same passion and about the same, uh, you know, a, a life for someone that is very dedicated to the game of basketball. So overall, I played almost 20 years. I've dedicated in terms of playing pro and uh, at a high level. And now, you know, I have three kids. I live in North Van, uh, 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 Deep Cove, North Vancouver, and I'm dedicated to growing the game of basketball. 100%. Yeah. Love that. Well, I appreciate you. Uh, appreciate you. And, you know, also, I'm also very, very passionate about empowering as a young, uh, you know, young black men to realize that they can shoot for their dreams, that they don't have to be boxed in, that they shouldn't feel like uh, they, can, they can't reach for the stars. I believe that. You know, I want to show, and, and same thing with Coach Pete, show a lot of the black community that you can do anything you want and that you can be an owner of something and uh, you can do it the right way and you can be professional. And all of those things I think are just as important as, they, as the game. And right now the energy in here, this is what I love. This is what reminds me of all the good things I got on my life. Seeing these kids like grow in front of you, right? And this is what's happening in this gym every day that we're here so we're excited for what's to come but we're also you know a, a saying that me and Skeet say a lot is uh you got to eat all the all the food on your own plate before you start looking for another plate right and we and we got a lot of good food on this plate right now so we're just trying to nurture and to cultivate these kids that are in our fold that are under our wing and under our mentorship and you know what, what's to come will come but we first got to take care of what we have right now 100 yeah, yeah.